Universe Sandbox 2, you can put anything in here. Um, it's, I, mean, I just focused on our solar system at the moment. But uh, you can have any sort of situation. I'll go through, I'll go through them. But the first thing I wanted to show, so add, if you go to add, and you can add anything into the solar system as it is. Um, so you can add another Earth, whatever. You can add random planets. I don't know if they're procedural, but you can add an, uh, random ones. But also you can add ones that we already know about. Um, this is this is everything, isn't it? So if we go to planets, that like Kepler 69c. So obviously the way it looks is theoretical, but you can add that. But we're going to add a star first. Now this is what I was getting at the sense of scale, like Betelgeuse. Okay, Betelgeuse is a star that's 600 light years away from us. And it's a red giant, but does anyone know actually, actually how big Beetlejuice is? I'm gonna just shove it in there. <laughs> There's Beetlejuice! That's to scale, folks. That is to scale. Um, that's it. If Beetlejuice was in the middle of our solar system, that's where it would be. It, I'm not gonna place it because it would just completely tear up the solar system, <laughs> but um, it would be nearly out to Jupiter's orbit. Nearly out to Jupiter's orbit. That's how big Beetlejuice is. I think that's fascinating, but they get bigger. <laughs> the biggest star that we knew recently was Canis Majoris, which is this one, but they recently found a bigger one. It's not as massive, but it's larger in size. And it UI Scooty. And ready? Boom. It actually swallows Jupiter's orbit. <laughs> it actually swallows up Jupiter. Uh, that I mean, everyone must have seen those things get passed around Facebook and Twitter where they try and put the scale of the solar system in but of course you're always zooming out and you lose sense of scale because by the point you get to these sort of stars the sun is invisible well that's still true here but when you've got the other orbits in of the planets it's, uh, it just brings it a little bit a little bit more alive <laughs> so this is the biggest star you could possibly put in the game but if you think that's scary, let's go and get a black hole. Sagittarius A star is the thing that our sun orbits, all right? So the moon orbits the Earth, the Earth orbits the sun. What does the sun orbit? The sun orbits a supermassive black hole in the middle of the solar system, sorry, in the middle of the galaxy called uh, Sagittarius A star. And that's, that dark matter aside, that's what's holding our galaxy together. And we can add this as well. Where is it? You can't see them. <laughs> so it's not, huge but considering that this thing can I put it so that's behind the Sun now so you can I don't know it's really difficult to see I'm sorry folks I can't really demonstrate that any better that is what the whole galaxy is orbiting is this thing in the middle <laughs> largely mind-blown simulator yeah but the, the idea of that demonstration was the power of that black hole considering its size if the Sun shrunk down to a black hole it would be like that big and you can't even see it you can't even see it. You can just about see it, maybe. Can you see it? Not really, but it's there. <laughs> it's just scary. It's scary physics. What I want to do is just change the skybox quickly to make this more evident because it's quite a dark game. So that's real time now. That is real time. So I can send a pulse out. There it is. Now this pulse is the speed of light, okay? This pulse is moving away from the sun at the speed of light in real time. That's the speed of light, so it gives you an idea of how slow the speed of light is relative to the solar system, let alone anything else. It doesn't show how slow the speed of light is, it shows how vast space is. Well, uh, yeah, that's a, sorry, yeah, that's a better way of putting it, Poodmon. Yeah, so, so first, should we fire a black hole through the solar system and see what it does? Let's put a one sun mass black hole in, okay, so it's a disaster scenario where we have a, a collapsed star and it's, it's the size of our sun and it's shrunk down to a black hole. Uh, so let's let's add the black hole. So incoming black hole, poof, it's going to pass through our solar system. There it is. It's placed. This is not in orbit around the sun. This is just this is firing at the sun. So it's like passing through. So we're we're seeing what the effect of a black hole does through the solar system. It might already have an effect. It probably, in fact, it already is having an effect because it's like another sun. It's got the mass of the sun, and you'll start to see these, especially the outer planets at first start to veer out towards it and the Kuiper belt here will get all messed up. Can we zoom right in? Right, there's the black hole. Okay, there's the black hole. And that's gonna, we'll keep that in the galaxy line as best we can. And that's gonna start falling towards the sun. Two months a second. And I don't think we're aware of anything here on Earth. 
No, we're not aware not of anything. You see the sun moving towards it now. There you go, you see the sun moving towards it, but because the planet, the sun's still got a, a much higher influence over the planets, it's not, we've not really, we're not really seeing anything yet. Neptune looks like it might be veering off a little bit. Let's increase the speed. It's actually, at, at this distance, it's still having, Jupiter's still got a higher effect than the black hole has. But you can see the Kuiper object starting to move towards it. A year, a second. You can see it moving towards though, so the sun is starting to get quite uh, pulled in. But other than that, the planets are still stable. That's getting pulled off. <laughs> wow, whatever you are, your name, you're unnamed, but your little dwarf planet. Yeah, so it's starting, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's pulling in the Kuiper belt. And at Chaos and Sue, it started. Oh, that's been just that's fired off out of the solar system. <laughs> Here it is, it's Kuiper belt getting torn away. Uh, Vesta and Seri, no, no, I think, yeah, we're, we're okay. We're okay, nothing's really changed there, has it? Oh, there it is there. It's, part, it's crossing Pluto's orbit. It's just crossed in Pluto's orbit. Let me let me highlight that. That's really racing in now. Look at Saturn's orbit, Aki. Oh, that's getting widened out. Saturn's increasing speed. Now it's getting interesting. Oh, Saturn. We're okay. We're still unaffected. We're quite in blissful ignorance at the moment. Cool. The dwarf planets are getting flung into really low orbits, aren't they? Saturn's, Saturn's getting stopped dead. It's, Saturn's just completely had its orbit reversed. There's a black hole. Jupiter's orbit is getting shrunk. We're still okay. The inner solar system's not really affected at the moment, but that's about to change. Saturn's getting flung around again. Uh oh. Everything's getting its orbits reversed. Where is it? There it is. Oh! Did that just... what happened? Uh, it's, it swallowed our sun. <laughs> it swallowed our sun. Right, if we click on Earth, we can see the effects on Earth now. So the sun's been devoured by the black hole. Uh, so everything's left to orbit the black hole. Climate surface temperature you see the surface temperature dropping where the sun's gone and this will start freezing over now wow venus is in a tight orbit mars has been flung out have we got jupiter it looks like we've got everything still everything's hung on but it's now in orbit around the black hole saturn's comes quite within quite close to where oh there's jupiter there's jupiter asteroid belt's been destroyed what a mess okay let's uh, speed it up and see what happens now so we'll see Earth start to freeze, temperature's dropping. Okay, so Earth is now freezing. What we need, we need to be around Jupiter. <laughs> That's what we need, we need to be around Jupiter and get some, get some rest in peace sun and everyone. Uh, minus five for the Earth. And yeah, and just see the effects. We'll, 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 see the, we'll see the solar system start to settle down again. So this is five months, six months a second, six and a half months every second passing. British people will be fine with this cold. <laughs> yeah. Minus 39 for the Earth. I don't know where the light source is coming from, but Earth is just frozen now. Wow, look at Uranus. Look at the Uranus orbit. That's insane. Minus 90 for Mars. Mars is getting flung out. Saturn's really close. Where's Neptune? Neptune in orbit? Yeah, Neptune's got an orbit. Look how close Venus is to the black hole. So that's what happens if you fire a black hole into the solar system. <laughs> that happens. <laughs>